live show on the Gravitating Towards Your Power show. It's not going to be podcast. Well, it's also going to be podcast, but a on a, <laughs> yeah, Gravitating Towards Your Power show. So I got my buddy Luke Kish on today, um, expert of mindset and also entrepreneur, right? Yep. We got one person on, but it's going to be pretty cool, guys. Like I said before, uh, those of you that are used to the podcast, this is now going to be a live streaming show. We're going to do once a week on Wednesdays. We're going to have one guest on. We're going to stream you live on the GraphFit Facebook page, and then it's going to go over to YouTube, the podcast, and all these other platforms. But I want to welcome my brother Luke on today. Thank he- you for having me. <laughs> Thanks, man. So we got a couple people coming on, but guys, save your questions till the end. I uh, want to make sure that we get through the content today, but... I'm going to do my best because I'm. we're doing this actually in a park in Pennsylvania. Now my arm is like, I'm holding this with my arm right now, so a little bit tired holding it up, but we're going to stay on for a little while. So Luke is, tell, me, tell us a little bit more about your story, Luke, how um, you got started. 23 years old, uh, went to school at San Diego State, 19, decided I wanted to be an entrepreneur, dropped out of school, got into sales, did pretty well in sales, and um, have been enjoying the entrepreneurial lifestyle ever since. And then also I have a background in fitness. I did um, a lot of competitive uh, working out when I was younger in high school. So, Yeah, so like I know you were saying a while back too, you, uh, what was it, around 17, you broke a, a record for deadlifting? Yep, so I deadlifted 550 pounds when I was 17 years old. Jeez. Yep. That is crazy. That's a lot, that's a lot of weight, man. Yeah. Yeah, most people uh, struggle to get up to 405. Yep. So, but, um, no, but a while back we did this same type of, you know, broadcast on my personal page, guys, and we talked about um, with Luke, like, what is the mindset you need to win? You know, what is that champion's mindset you need to cultivate to win? Um, so today I really want to talk about that, um, but first, we, before we go into that, I want to talk about what is your mantra, Luke? What, do you, what fires you up every single day? Wow, what fires me <laughs> up every single day? Well, what I want to do with my life fires me up every single day. I'm definitely pretty ambitious and I have high hopes to do really big things, not live an ordinary life, you know, make lots of money, um, affect lots of people, and... Uh, think just be valuable you know just to uh to be valuable and to matter is what my mantra is yeah valuable and matter i mean that's that's definitely two very important things in life is to you know stand out you know stand out and not be not be average like you said you know that's why i like to have people on here that are like just hungry for more hungry to help people and you know you definitely fit that part um so i know we talked about before like uh what your we talked about previously like what were your favorite books were Mm -hmm. like again can you mention like one that would resonate with your like why like what you're valuable and and standing out um right now i'm really enjoying sigmund freud civilization and its discontents um which you know sigmund freud is kind of the original person that a lot of psychology stemmed off of guy from vienna austria um and some of the things he says I don't agree with but it's a really interesting book on you know how human beings are wired his philosophy um, his philosophies um, what makes human beings do what they do and I think um, when it comes to reading the more the better the more knowledge you have like I said in the last talk knowledge makes you emanate a non delusional confidence you know the more stuff Mm -hmm. you know the more stuff you know more stuff you know um, the better perspective you have uh, you know the more aware you become and I think yeah my mantra of mattering and you know kind of gearing my life towards making me just useful as a person to the people around me came from reading tons of books and you know that's kind of a different perspective than most people have yeah no I mean that's that is very true I think it was like How's your arm feeling? It's a little bit numb. <laughs> um, no, I mean that that's it's crazy true. It's like, you know, not acquired knowledge is it's everything. You know, having knowledge you, you definitely see things from a different perspective and it allows you to become self aware of a lot of things in life and 
you know, overcome certain challenges and, and get to the next level. Um, so like, what is, you know, let's say like we're talking, let's, let's put ourselves in someone else's shoes right now. Like, let's say we'll talk about someone in the fitness industry, like, or someone in, trying to get in shape. Like, let's say they've tried a million things and they feel like they've tried everything and their mindset isn't just clicking. Like, what's the one thing you could recommend for that person to get back on their feet and keep pushing forward, like, and to reach their goals? Keep going for sure, um, and, and with each each failure, I'd say just kind of learn something and take something, and look at it. You know, don't be afraid to look at the hard truths. If you if you didn't get in shape because you didn't follow the workout plan, you know, don't be delusional to that because it's uncomfortable. You know, saying that you did something wrong, um, and just learn and then keep going. And uh, whatever yeah. the the, the images or vision is you have for your body or your fitness self, just uh, keep reminding yourself that that's what you're working towards, that's what you can have, and and continue. Hell yeah, that's that's true, man. It's pers persistence is you know is key. Is I forget how the, like the adage goes. It's like if you're persistent, you'll get it. If you if you're consistent, you'll I know it's the other way around, right? Persist if you're persistent you'll get it if you're consistent you'll keep you'll it. keep it that's it that's it but yeah it's very true is like just continually implementing just you know never giving up guys as cliche as that sounds like just continually pushing through you know and getting at least one percent better every single day um so like what i know you had like a like that day after we we chilled you had that one broadcast about like belief like mm -hmm. Like how do you, like can you touch more on that? Like I know you, it was really reson resonated with a lot of people. Like what was, you know, the meaning behind that? Um, yeah, you gotta have belief. Um, you know, if if I didn't believe I could do anything, I would give up. I would quit. Um, so yeah, you gotta believe you can do something, and, and recognizing that everything around you that you see, at all places, at all times, was made by someone just like you. Uh, we're made by a human being and looking at all the things that human beings have done that should raise your own belief that you can go ahead and and do what it is you want to do you know most of the time there's plenty of examples of people that have done far beyond what it is you want to do and say you want to get to like 10 percent body fat or something there's plenty of humans with the same tools that have gotten like one to two percent so when you reframe it you know keep keep the belief that yeah. you can do what it is you want to do um, first and foremost and you know a lot of that is disconnecting from kind of the social landscape and the, a lot of the people around you most people think negatively most people um, are caught up in you know the media the news things not working everything being hard you know it's hard to make money it's hard to get in shape I guess just because being in shape or making money is a good thing uh, the opinion that it's hard to achieve that is is um, I guess accepted or something like that yeah. but kind of breaking <laughs> through all that and um, yeah yeah that's a really good point you know I think is a lot of people will I guess the best way to phrase this is they'll, they'll listen to others and they'll be like they'll, they'll almost accept that as their own reality someone else's opinions and I think that's you know where a lot of people get hung up is you know they hear all these external voices but they don't listen to their own you know they don't you know follow their own intuition I think that throws a lot of people off they start to believe other people's you know opinions about them and I think that's that's true man it's believing your own you know your own beliefs and sticking with it sure. um so what uh what is like what's your routine now in terms of like fitness like what are you following like what's you know your current split you know nutritional wise as well we'll go into that in a little bit what's like your current fitness routine um so my my workouts are broken up by muscle group um, we have a shoulder day a leg day the leg days are twice a week and one's the front of the legs, one's the back of the legs. Um, a chest day, a back day, and then the back days are different too. So it's kind of it's kind of complex, but um, it involves consistent workouts for sure, um, correct form, um, no regard for the weight, just really making sure that the muscle is being used correctly, and then uh, the cardio. I do cardio probably 15 miles plus per week a little bit less now because it's getting colder mm -hmm. um was about like you know 20 20 plus um as of that's crazy a couple weeks ago but yeah I, I mix it into things i like like being outside so after this i'll probably go for like a three four mile walk and i'll be uh 
taking in knowledge while I'm doing it, I'll be enjoying it, and I'll be getting uh, abs. <laughs> well, that, that's something you did, <laughs> getting abs on the way. Exactly. That's something big he touched on right there, too, is a lot of people will say, you know, I don't really enjoy the process of getting fit. I don't really enjoy, you know, going to the gym. And I think Luke touched, touched on something really big is he enjoys it while he does it. You know, I think that's that's one way to stay consistent or persistent with something is you want to enjoy the process. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, it's, you're inevitably, you're, you're going to give up. Uh, that's just how it is. You know, you you have to enjoy each and every step along the journey. And whether it be, you know, walking, whether it be just getting out and moving, you know, or running, just enjoy it. Make sure you do it in this atmosphere like we're in right now. Do it in, you know, somewhere where it's fun. Make it fun and worthwhile. Um, I think that's that's so imperative and, and set a goal. You know, set something that's obviously vast, but in the sense that it's attainable and also stretch at the same time. You want to have that stretch, but um, okay, so yeah, you, you definitely touched on some good stuff like with the with the, your training. What about like your nutrition now? Like, what do you follow any type of like diet? Uh, you know? The last couple of days, I've been I've had a cold, so <laughs> not not too much to be honest. Stupid um, northeast up here. <laughs> but yeah, I I have always eaten pretty healthy. Um, I like the way I feel when I eat healthy. So you know, my normal breakfast consists of egg whites and oatmeal. Um, or egg whites and brown rice and then I eat you know chicken breast um, a lot yams a lot broccoli and juices a lot smoothies a lot um, protein shakes bananas you know so it just keep it obvious you know I, I mean I think for most people it's not even like getting to the point where like your macros and you know all that mm -hmm. stuff it's just like don't eat a bag of Doritos before you go to bed and you know skip out on obviously bad things first and then work up but you know my main thing is that I eat healthy yeah I always have yeah and I, I think that's you, you touched on a good point with the macros thing is you know I'm a big believer in the flexible dieting but I think a lot of people that's like a, it's an advanced step I think it, like what Luke's saying is good is you, know, you want to focus on the foundational parts of the, the you know keep it simple starting off eat healthy Otherwise, if you focus on all that other stuff like flexible dieting, fasting, all that stuff, you're going to really overwhelm yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going right into that. So I think it's always good to take a step back and focus on the, you know, the basics. And then when you feel comfortable with those, once you, you know, master that, go to the next level. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really – so you got your fitness down, you got your nutrition down. So what's, like, one goal for you, like, you're trying to achieve um, physically in the next, like – by the end of 2016 um, to be honest I don't have like a written goal mm -hmm. um, physically just because I'm um, cheap so much <laughs> it's part of my brain now I've yeah. been working out for so long and, and eating healthy for so long like 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 I said on the last thing, people ask me sometimes if I'm if I'm gonna do shows. And I I don't think you know like I have like an extraordinary physique, but I definitely have like a above above average physique. Mm -hmm. And um, you know because I've just been doing it so long, it's just so routine in my mind that if I don't do it, I don't feel good. It's not even like I feel a lot better when I do do it. I'm just so used to do doing it that I feel how I feel when I do do it. So I'm never not gonna do it. Um, so yeah, my goal is to continue. Uh, looking good and feeling good yeah no i think that's a really good one um so let's let's kind of start to wrap it up like if you could uh if you could uh, two final questions actually right here is like what um reframe this question let's say you know you're going back to the someone who's 20 percent body fat he's it's similar to what we asked in the beginning, but someone who's 20% body fat, stuck, you know, doesn't know what to do with nutrition, doesn't know what to do with working out, doesn't know how to get, or can't really afford it, we'll say afford a gym right now, what's the number one thing you could do to get... Number one thing you can do, and get, this is get the good, 10%, listen yeah. to this, is don't think of all the how-tos so much. You want to think of the how-tos. You need the how-tos, but extrapolate out all of the good things that will happen in your life from getting your body fat down. Um, you know, think about all the negatives that things that could happen if you don't do it and make doing it just extremely, extremely enticing in your mind, you know, like mm. connect it with the girl of your dreams, connect it with a better confidence level, connect it with, um, 
you know, doing, you know, showing up more prominent in whatever career it is, whatever job it is, and just really extrapolate out all the good things that will come from achieving whatever it is you want to achieve. And, um, you know, that'll kick up your, like, your energy towards wanting to achieve it. And then the how-to sort of just falls into place and sort of takes care of itself. And then I would say leave nothing in the gray area. Um, if you have 15 diet plan plans around and 25 workout plans and 25 different personal trainer blogs that you're reading, um, you're going to yeah. be overwhelmed and you're probably not going to do any of them. So, you, you know, pick one, say yes, say no to the rest, and then follow it and stick with it and, and don't leave it in the gray area. If you're going to do a meal plan, say yes, commit to it. If you're not going to do it, say no. Go. Yeah, that is a really good point. I, I like how you got into the psychology behind that too. And you know, as it, guys, if you're if you're on like someone's newsletter or if you're on something you haven't checked it for months, like you said, you know, just unsubscribe or just try to like eliminate. Just try to get rid of all the clutter mm -hmm. and just simplify your life because that is going to bring so much clarity. And again, you're going to get so focused. And focus is the key to continual success and, and achieving what you desire. So. Um, I want to wrap it up, kind of getting getting to the end of this. Um, let's say this is a big question, and this is actually from Lewis Howes' podcast, but um, I think it's it's good to also use this question in other areas. Is Luke? Let's say it's like your final day. Um, everything so far you've achieved has like disappeared. Um, what would be your three greatest truths out of life? that you've, you could say, um, if, if three was, greatest truths out of life. Yeah. Everything disappeared. Um, whoa. I don't even know what that really means. What do you <laughs> mean by that? So like, what's, if like, if it was your last day and you had, like, if you could just give away the three biggest lessons you've learned from life okay. to, to maybe of your legacy, like of your legacy or to help someone. Mm -hmm. um, what would they be? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, well, I call uh, I call infinite intelligence and like life energy God. So I'd say one one of the things would be um, we're connected to that. Number two would be there is both dark and light portions of at least the human experience in life that need to be um, faced and looked at directly. Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the hard things and hard problems to solve. Um, people will would rather you know kind of warp their mind away from recognizing and looking at them even existing uh, because that's painful. And I think that's that's wrong. And that's how. Um, you know further screw-ups happen so dark and light we're connected to infinite intelligence and God or part of it and um, I think the last one is uh, God <laughs> is um, it's all right you know be valuable good do, yeah. do good on to others dude that's those were deep man those, those were really deep but no Thanks. that's that's good is uh you know it's and I, I love those two man as I think those are those are really man I, I could never uh, that's that's really deep stuff it's good thanks <laughs> um, no but actually one one more final question right. um, and I think this one is a little bit easier to answer is um, what is your superpower and how are you positively impacting the world if I had a superpower if you have a superpower everyone does um, like what's your gift I think my gift is um, I have an ability to understand complex things and then make them simple to other people. So I think, mm -hmm. I, I believe my gift is um, kind of bringing out the truth. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Simplification, bring out the truth. Nice. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this up, guys. Um, where can they find you, Luke? What is the best pieces of social media they can find you right now uh, Facebook page is Luke Kish and uh, website is www.lukekish.com it's L-U-K-E-K-I-S-H and there's a little opt-in to join the inner circle if you want to get on my newsletter awesome anything else um, no thank you awesome for watching. 
And we will link it up all in the show notes, guys. But thank you so much for tuning into the first episode. This is all going to be on YouTube as well. If you're watching YouTube right now, you'll see, you're seeing it right now. And then also the podcast. So thank you so much, guys. Tune in for next week. We'll talk soon. And thank you, Luke. Thank you. Take care.